All right, welcome to another video and where we're looking at, at statistics and we're treating with exponential models and usually these will, will be coupled with an analysis of um, the sample correlation coefficient and the hypothesis testing around um, calculated values. So here we're just going to review um, the polynomial model and the exponential model and then move on to some examples of, of both in upcoming videos. So uh, assuming that we, we have a set of data and we want to figure out, when we have sketched the data, we want to figure out the best curve that matches the data. So when we're looking at the best curve, we want to minimize the distance between the, the fitted curve and the, the observed points. So we have at our disposal two um, different approaches. We have the polynomial model. So the polynomial model is assuming that the data can be fitted with a curve of the form y equal ax to the n. And, and generally, we'll be seeking to calculate a and n that best fits the data. The exponential model is anything of the form y equal a b to the x. All right. Um, so this is so this is the distinction. So here with the polynomial model, um, so you know that x is a variable that has been raised to a power. With the exponential model, x is the power that we need to um, that we're raising the um, a and b to. So a and b would be constants that we would need to solve for. All right. So you want to be aware of the the two different models. Um, one way of remembering it, one way that I think about it is it, um, when x is in the power, we can think of exponential. All right, so that's one way of thinking of exponential model, then the x is in the power. All right, and uh, um, polynomial, and then I think of that n, sort of matching up that n, so poly. Uh, let me write it closer. So, polynomial. Um, so, we know that the n is in the power. So, if you look for the n in polynomial, um, ax to the n, and then the x in exponential. Um, so, you might have different strategies. Um, that, 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 works. that works for me. All right. So, let's move from there. All right, um, so we can rewrite this now in logarithmic form and we're going to apply the rules of logs that you'd have learned earlier. So applying the rules of log, we know that log y is equal to log a plus log x to the n. So if we have a product, we know that we can separate by, adding, by invoking the addition rule. Similarly here, log y is equal to log a plus log b to the x. So here we can now apply the, the power rule in log, so we can bring n to the front. So we're going to have log y equals log a plus n log x. Similarly, invoking the power rule here, we have log y equals log a plus x log b. Now, as an aside, uh, recall from coordinate geometry that the equation of a straight line is y equal mx plus c. So if we know that y is equal to mx plus c is the equation of a straight line, we can sort of rewrite this as y equals c plus mx, if you will. So we have the constant term then we have the variable, um, and so this would be the y-intercept, and this would be the gradient. All right, so that's the that's our c, that's our x, if you will, and this is our y, um, and then this is our m. So from this part, this is our y, this is our c and this is our m okay 
So you can recall or, or learn, the, memorize those things, or you can work them out um, question by question. So you don't have to um, commit all of these to memory. So when we graph these, so what we have here, we will have log X here, and we will have log Y. So this, is, this would be called a log log graph. So a log log graph corresponds to the polynomial um, model. All right? So whenever you, whenever you see a log log graph, then you know it's the polynomial model that needs to be um, invoked. So one way of recalling it is log log. All right. So here, so we have x here, and then we have log y here. Notice only a single log is in, involved for the exponential. So there's only a single log here. So anytime you see the exponential, there's only one log. So this is called a, a semi-log. That's a semi-log graph. So one L, one log in exponential, semi-log, um, two Ls in polynomial, log, log. That, that might be a um, useful way of recalling um, which function, which type of model maps, up, maps, maps back to the, the graph, but we'll be working through. So anytime you see um, a polynomial model, it's log, log, and the gradient is N. So the gradient N is the gradient of the line, and the y-intercept is log A. And we'll work through examples like this in the coming videos.